This is like a full size bed. I can even put my wife in here, my two little kids. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Manuel and as long as I can think I always wanted to be a gangster and today finally I can be one. Just kidding, I'm not gonna kill somebody. I will just drive the real gangster's car. The one and only Cadillac DeVille from 1960. Fully rebuilt, beautiful black and I will swap my small, maybe one of the smallest cars ever, the Mini to one of the biggest ones, the Cadillac. So we'll see how this goes. I have my coffee here. I'm ready to go. Let's come and see how this goes. First things first, we gotta start up the Mini. Ready? Wish me luck. It's been a while. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, first of all I have to apologize for this part of the video. The quality may not be so good because it's a bumpy road and I have a mini. You may know the rest. We have some time to kill, so I try to explain to you what it means to own a Cadillac. No, what it meant to own a Cadillac back then because today it's different. Especially for the younger ones of you, you may don't get it. Cadillac was huge. Cadillac was like the brand you had to own if you were someone. If you want to show that you you reach the top, if you want to show your well-being, just think of all the big names. Think of Elvis Presley, think of Marilyn Monroe, think of the big president JFK and all the others. They all had Cadillacs. Think of Al Capone. For him, only the best, the more futuristic and the fastest. So he had to buy a Cadillac. Actually, this was bulletproof for the obvious reasons. This was one of the first bulletproof cars in the whole world, actually. The company started back in 1902 with the rest over of the Henry Ford Company. They gave the name Cadillac after the founder of Detroit. His name was <coughs> Cadillac. And from there on, sales just went up. Cadillac was actually the first automobile with an electric starter. Before that, you had to start the engine by hand. You may remember the black and white movies, how they started the engine back there. It was hard work. If you're not strong enough, you couldn't do it. And they're also the first one using a designer to design the car instead of just having engineers. And the result is beautiful cars, fast cars. They did it until World War II. You may remember. Then Cadillac, they had to start production for a bit and they start doing tanks and aircraft to fight the Germans. And once the problem was solved, they went back to cars and they improved. More beautiful and bigger because they thought bigger is better. The 50s, the 60s and the 70s, just think what they gave us. They gave us the most beautiful cars until today, I have to admit. And back in the days, just think what Audi and BMW made. Unfortunately, the years to come, the Germans got better. The Cadillac just lost it. The oil crisis didn't help because the big six, seven, eight liter engines, the big V8s, and this heavy two and a half tons cars were not just friendly enough for the environment, for the oil crisis, for the high fuel price. So they have to settle down and start to make smaller ones. They're getting uglier and uglier. The brand Cadillac pretty much stopped in 1980. It's my opinion. And now I show you one of the best. One of the most beautiful, one of the biggest, one of the most powerful. The 1960 Cadillac Deville. We're here. Let's take a look. I'm excited. I'm really excited. 
I've been laughing the last five minutes. Look at that. Look at that. Enormous. This is fucking huge. <laughs> Look at that beast. Phenomenal, fantastic. It's, it's huge. It's, it's enormous. Under here, it's a V8, 6.4 liter, 325 horsepower, 435 pound-feet of torque. Real drive and obviously automatic transmission, four-speed, hydraulic, 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 ha uh, you know what I mean. So just a few numbers, just to let you know how big this car is. 225 inch long, that means this is longer than the brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost. From wheel to wheel, this is bigger than a Fiat 500. And it weighs obviously almost 5,000 pound. So it's not a lightweight. And that's why you need a big V8. Now it's time to open this gigantic hood. There's no latch you gotta pull, you just have to grab down here and release the hood. Oh my god. That's, that's a real heavy hood. Look at this engine. This is the famous 390 cubic inch engine from Cadillac. Like I said, 325 horses and 435 pound-feet of torque and you need them all because this beast needs to go forward and it needs power. So in today's world, this makes no sense. The car starts right here, but actually it starts over here. So you have almost another car in front of your car. For what? Just to make it bigger. I love it. And here's the baby. This is the beast. This is the big engine. Today's engine are all covered up. You find plastic pieces hiding all the nice stuff. Not in here. In here, you just see the big V8 and a lot of space because it's a lot of car. Time to close the hood. Really slowly. Make sure it's perfect in place. Done. To access the rear wheels, you have first of all take away this part. There's a little screw on the bottom. Take it off. The whole part comes off. And then you can remove your nice old school tire over here. The typical coupe style with no B pillar is just beautiful. With the two windows rolled down, you can see how fantastic it looks. Even if it's a big car, looks still like a cube. Like all Cadillacs from the 60s, we have the giant shark wings in the back. Distinctive, you can see from miles away a Cadillac and you know right away what car it is. Just beautiful, again, enormous. All the tail, again, a lot of chrome in here. In here we have the gas tank, where you put in your gas. Now it's time to open the giant hood and see if there's a lot of space in there. To open the hood, you insert a key and you open it right up. You can see it. it's all new back here. Normally in here you find cheap plastic, but the owner thought leather would be better. And I would say the result, just beautiful. I have to admit, normally you have also your spare tire in here and that takes away a lot of this room, but not today, so we can use it to party. You may think that your trunk and your Honda Accord is pretty big. No, this is big. I mean, I mean, I gotta climb in here. Look at this. Oh. This is like a full-size bed. I can even put my wife in here, my two little kids. We'll take a nap. See you later. Can someone close the hood, please? Close it, you just put it down. And it's closed. It's time to climb inside of the Cadillac. 
The seats are comfy, they're like cushions. There's no headrest because they just came 20 years later. But still, beautiful. It smells actually pretty new here. Pull down your armrest. So there's good space for four of them. If you want it, put it up. And you have space for six of you. Maybe even more. Like in every US car, you have your ashtray in the back. Because when you make sure you want to smoke your cigarettes back here, up here you have your lighter. There's another lighter on the other side too, because it's a big car and you may not reach over on the other side because it's too far away. To open the window, you roll down a window manually. It's not an easy process, but to open the door, you just open it this way. So this is the front door. With this one, you open the window. With the other one, you turn the deflector. I'm not allowed to do it because probably will fall off, so I won't touch it. To open the door, just like in your car, you pull over here and you open this massive door. You feel it's a heavy door. It's not comparison to anything that we used today in today's car. But I think that's why we love the old cars. When you say climb inside in this car, you really have to climb inside. But once you're in position, it just feels great. You have, again, it's all big in here. The speedometer is big. You have your water temperature. Yeah, oh, fuel range. PNL. Feels great in here. Old school, big. The giant hood in the front. When you sit on the driver's side, you do not see the passenger mirror. On the right hand side, we have our analog clock, old school analog watch. Here's where you start your car. Your horn is here. Unfortunately, it's not working. On the left side, we have our washer. You push over here and the water comes out. You have three different speeds. Here are your lights. And if you need your high beams, they're under here. Handbrake pedal. Seats are pretty cool. All nicely done. In my, I mean, this is 60 years old, so couldn't really blame if there's something getting a bit rusty. That still looks really, really nice. Visibility is not that good, actually. You just have small mirrors everywhere for this gigantic car. So if you have to maneuver it, you may ask for help. You just go really slow because if you hit, if you hit something, you make damage. But enough talking. I think it's time to take it for a spin. Let's go. Okay, I'm driving a Cadillac Deville. The feeling is fantastic. The car is huge. Once you sit in here, you see it's actually bigger than you think. Or it feels bigger than it is. I don't know. The steering is really light. It's actually lighter than anything else I tried before. This is a real power steering. Like I said before, the mirrors are tiny. You don't see anything. Over on the passenger side, you'll see nothing at all because the tiny mirror is just under the A pillar, so you don't see anything. I don't know who decided to put it in there, but he did something wrong. The brakes are fine. You need to push a little harder. When someone tells you driving a car like this is driving like a boat, he's 100% right. It is like driving a boat. Before the car steers, you have to make a minimum a quarter turn of your steering wheel and after that, something happens. But it just feels fantastic. You can tell the car is 60 years old. 
still drives really, really nice. Sound is fine. I was maybe except, expecting a little bit more of this V8 in terms of sound. But you feel like a king in a castle. I seriously have to say, I'm impressed. This is actually a daily drivable car. So once you go on the throttle, you hear the V8 singing. It's fantastic. It's a great feeling. The gauges are still really smooth. This is still the original transmission. So 60 years old. Good job, Cadillac. Well done. It's hard to say, I don't want to give it back. Yes, seriously, this is a lot of fun. This is how you can spend a Sunday afternoon, just cruising around. You don't want to drive fast because it's not a sporty car. You don't want to corner really fast because you don't really feel the road. Again, it's like being on a cruise ship. When you steer, you have to remember the car is long. Make sure all the tail come through the corner. This is fun. I am. I have a big smile on my face. Can't take it away. The car looks good, but the car drives even better. I swear to God, I don't know if you ever get a chance to drive something like this. I don't know if all the Cadillacs of the 60s drive like this. I'm just lucky having a really good one but it feels like 60 years ago you really feel you have something something good something expensive under your bum the little cars around you they are tiny you can tell they're tiny and when you're sitting here you're sitting actually pretty high you don't sit that low I recently drove with a brand new 3 Series BMW, it's way lower in this car, the corner are sharper obviously, see to make a 90 degrees corner you actually turn the wheel twice, the brakes again you have to give it a, give it a little push because they are power brakes but still not like things that you are used to in our day. Out of the corner, the car goes sideways, you go on the throttle and you hear the music of the V8, which is fantastic. The roads here are tiny, so imagine this on a big road with your Cuban cigar. You don't need a radio here. You just enjoy the wind, the sound of the engine. Listen to this. This is music. Just fantastic. Okay guys, that's it for today. A short video for my little fun ride here. I enjoy ride with my friend. And now it's time to go back to reality. This is just cool. Thanks a lot. See you in a minute.